Hi students, as you continue to develop this picture, you'll get more and more accurate. I figured out how off my proportions were and angles. There's still a ton to do. So at this point, you want to really start using those values to help understand where things are. By filling the things that are dark with any kind of a pencil, there's something there I didn't see either. You can also use an eraser just for subtractive technique. It's not so much that you're cleaning it up, but things that are off, like this was so off, I had to pull out the lights to see what I was working on. And this is not a fully developed picture, but it's a way for us to start understanding the relationships. And of course, stand back a lot. By putting in those values, you'll be able to make corrections. Keep it loose. This whole area over here, I haven't really developed at all. Um, main thing is while you're drawing, try not to think about what it is. I, you know, lose track. Like it looks like some weird face. It doesn't really matter what it is, but it's the shapes of value as you block them in that are gonna get your proportions accurate. So you don't wanna just rely on line. You wanna get in here and make shapes. And this, by making these shapes, you can double check all the areas that are off. I like to use a variety of pencils. You can use all your drawing tools. And that subtractive technique is great for lifting out lights as you go. Just to kind of create a sculptural sense of what's where. And you don't have to go all the way to pure black, but it's just kind of checking out these relationships. And the further you stand back, the better off you're going to be in terms of accuracy. So at this point, you want to just develop as much as you can, comparing one to the other until you feel really comfortable with the placement of everything. Because you don't want to get too rushed into the next step. All these little things will help you see and it also helps you start to get familiar in here. With all this stuff, all the textures, catch, catch it incorrect things. And when we transfer this, we're not going to be using a heavy mechanical outline. There's nothing worse than transferring something like this totally flat. It's like a big flat line that's the same uniform, cartoony. We don't want this to look cartoony. We want it to have volume and intrigue and interest and mystery. And the kind of line that creates that is lost and found line. And the way we decide where our pressure is going to vary is based on this drawing. So like obviously I'm not going to outline in there. That would be terrible. That area might not even be handled. If anything, it would be so subtle but it's so light in here. We don't want to go crazy on things we can't really see. Anyway, that's the next step and uh, we'll move on from there.